I'm, I'm here with uh, Scott Hanselman, one of the featured uh, speakers from the uh, Norwegian Developers Conference. Hello, Scott. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, the conference is, is coming along really, really great, and uh, we're looking forward to have you here. So, um, cool, yeah, I'm starting to make my travel arrangements. And I have some questions for you uh, from the uh, user groups. You up for that? Cool, cool. What do you got? Okay. So uh, one of the guys uh, wants you to, to comment on uh, web development uh, on the Microsoft stack versus the LAMP stack. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a pretty big topic. There's a lot to talk about right there, certainly more than we can talk about in this call. Uh, uh, but I think that if you start looking at things like Windows Server 2008 Core uh, as a potential web server or a memory cache server, uh, uh, you've got a really compelling story there, Windows Server 2008 along with IIS 7, which, and IIS 7 I like to think of as being this, um, this secret product that not enough people know about. People have heard about IIS 7, but once you start really working with it and you realize what IIS 7 can do, it'll completely blow your mind. It's such an amazing tool. Hopefully I'll be able to talk about that in my, my session at NDC on IIS 7. Uh, I think when you compare that with uh, with the LAMP stack and the basic stuff that is provided to you by Apache, I think it's pretty clear that you can do a lot more a lot quicker on, uh, on the Microsoft stack. You know, hopefully we'll have a lot more chance to talk to the attendees at the conference and, and speak in depth about that very, very good question. What do you think about running, uh, running PHP applications on uh, Internet Information Server? You know, actually, that, that, that brings me back to how great I think IIS 7 is. Uh, in my talk, I'm going to show how we can take uh, the CGI common gateway interface, uh, implement fast CGI, which shipped with uh, Vista Service Pack 1 and ships with Windows Server 2008, and how you can make your PHP applications even faster on, on IIS 7. And then I'll show you how we can add caching using some of the kernel mode caching functionality of Windows Server 2008, and you know we might be able to squeeze two to three thousand percent performance out of a PHP application without ever actually having to touch the PHP. And then we'll actually add some ASP.NET code, so we'll have a PHP app running with output caching, cached in the kernel, living with ASP.NET, all running on IIS 7. And I think it's a really compelling story and a pretty amazing thing to to see. Well, I think definitely a lot of people will want to hear more about this topic, uh, which I'm sure you'll, you'll try to get into at the uh, NDC conference. I will do my very best. I'll, I have another question for you, uh, which is about rich Internet applications. Uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, obviously, a lot of people are, are anxious to know more about uh, Silverlight. So what do you have to say about that? Well, I, I don't think that you can... Uh, overestimate how powerful it's going to be to have Silverlight and the complete power of, of, of a managed framework running within the browser. I think that uh, if you have, right, right now, think about what Ajax has done to the web and the power of having JavaScript in the browser and having your browser be a little managed environment. Now we're putting a complete managed environment in the browser with the choice of any language. Imagine being able to script your web pages with Ruby rather than JavaScript. Being able to, to write Python code that runs on the, on the client side and takes advantage of all of these, uh, these core two duo Pentium machines we have that right now are really just parsing HTML. I think that it's gonna change architecture, it's gonna change design, and it's gonna to, uh, to move a lot of, of processing power over onto the client. Uh, which is going to make a better experience for for everyone. So I, I don't think you can overestimate how powerful Silverlight's going to be once people realize what they can accomplish with it. And uh, of course, Silverlight is going to be uh, covered uh, in detail at the conference as well. So um, definitely, there's going to be a lot of great topics at the conference. Uh, so so what do you think is so special about our conference? Uh, what was the reason why you wanted to take part of this? Well, I mean, if you just look at the speech, or at the, at the, if you look at the speaker list, I mean, you've got Mary Poppendick, you've got Raphael, you've got Roy Ostrov. I mean, you've got, you know, Dave, you've got a number of people that you just don't see all coming to the same conference, uh, and they're coming here for a reason. They're coming because uh, Norwegian developers are known to be good at this kind of stuff. They're an enthusiastic crowd, uh, and I think that uh, for us to come, for me to come on a 12-hour flight to the other side of the world 
uh, uh, some might think of it as being um, an imposition, but for me it's an opportunity to connect with that entire section of the world. Uh, if people are, I'm, I'm sure you're going to have people coming from all over for this conference. I mean, this is the premier conference in that, in that area, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to be coming. So, um, yeah, it's going to be great. So, uh, do you know in the Norwegian businesses or, or developers? Have you met with them in the reasons well, before? Well, I mean, when I go to like the MVP summits and TechEd and things like that, I get to hang out with Sandra and uh, Jonas. I saw Jonas a couple of weeks ago uh, at the MVP summit. So, you know, these are guys that I socialize with and I chat with on MSN Messenger all the time. I've got a lot of folks from uh, Norway who read my blog and uh, uh, and I link back over to their blogs. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is a group of people who are known to uh, to be good at uh, at Microsoft Technologies. So um, here's a question that you're not prepared for. Uh, I saw that uh -oh. just <laughs> just uh, yesterday. I, I noticed you actually have some some what 987 friends on Facebook. Is that really true? <laughs> Are yeah, all your friends? it's getting upwards of a couple of thousand now. I think. <laughs> yeah. On Twitter, I've got something like 2,000. Also, it's kind of a funny thing. Yeah, I think I have two followers on, on Twitter, so I'm not competing with you, <laughs> that's for sure. Is there anything else you want to say to the Norwegian uh, developers? Before uh, I think all I've, got to say, like, all I've got to say now to the Norwegian developers is Visa Sijuni. Okay, Scott, thank you. We will uh, look forward to seeing you in, in June, and um, take care. See you then. Cool. Thank okay. you. Bye.